Welcome to the program Science for Smart Minds. I am your host or your teacher, Gottfried. In this episode, we're talking about science and technology. Science and technology. In fact, science and technology are interrelated. However, they are not the same. To simply put, while science is the acquisition of knowledge, technology is the practical application of what? Scientific knowledge. Let's explain further. In fact, science and technology can be compared to knowledge and wisdom. As we know, while knowledge refers to facts and figures, I mean experiences or skills that one has, wisdom refers to the exhibition or the practical application of what one's knowledge. That means when someone puts into practice what he or she knows and that is seen, that is what? Wisdom. But just knowing it is what? Knowledge. For instance, someone may have about a thousand and one knowledge or facts about the negative effects of what? Drug abuse or drug addiction. However, in some cases, such a person may still be involved in what? Drug abuse or drug addiction, though he's got the knowledge about its negative effects. Why? Because he lacks the ability to put into practice his knowledge. And that is what? Wisdom. That is how science and technology are related. Just knowing the facts and figures, that is science. However, when you put that into practical use, then that is what? Technology. Well, let us use this example or experiment to explain further science and technology. We all know that if I rub this pen, if I rub this pen against my head vigorously and then bring it closer to pieces of paper, what will happen? It's able to what? Attract the pieces of paper. How did this happen? Well, as we know, rubbing the pen through the hair causes the hair to lose some electrons or electricity onto the surface of the pen. However, the pen is what? A non-conductor of electricity or electrons. So the electrons that are released from the hair are able to stay on the surface of the pen without passing through it into my body. So the electrons or the electricity is able to stay on the surface of the pen for some time. Not permanently, but for some time. And that kind of electricity that stays at one particular place is what we call electrostatic force. Electrostatic force because this is a form of electricity that is somehow static. It's not moving. So it is known as electrostatic force. Good. So this kind of force or this kind of electricity causes the pen to be able to what? Attract those pieces of paper. Knowing this or having knowledge about this kind of what phenomenon is what? Science. This is science. However, if we are able to apply this kind of knowledge for our benefits, in other words, when we are able to put this kind of knowledge into practical use, then that becomes what? Technology. For instance, Assuming we are only assuming or we are only improvising. This is not a real thing. Okay, good. Assuming I'm able to use some batteries in an object and is able to create electrostatic force around a surface. And then if I have a cloth whose surface is somehow tarnished due to some unwanted particles that have been what attached to the surface if i bring the object closer 
and it works in such a way that the electrostatic force will be able to attract those unwanted pieces of foreign materials so that the surface will now become what very clean and neat that will be a form of what technology that means i have been able to put scientific knowledge into practical use and that is what technology so in short we can say that while science is a mere acquisition of knowledge through experiment and observation technology is the practical application of scientific knowledge so in conclusion all that we are saying is that while science sees to find out why and how certain things exist in nature technology sees to what produce tools and machines to make life easier for mankind having this background we can now proceed to talk a little bit more about the differences between science and technology but that cannot be done in this lesson so watch out as we further explain the differences between science and technology in other videos by the way this is what science for smart minds and i'm your host godfrey you can like share or subscribe for more of such educational videos bye bye